place our eyes are supposed to be on this screen so that we can see how Flutter with engine really works on, on a fast change environment. Um, for example, now I talked to you about on this Flutter web comes into um, um, invention of JavaScript in Flutter, right? Yeah. So normally this is a typical Flutter app. Um, uh, anybody just starting, anybody starting with Flutter, maybe, or anybody that has experience working with Flutter knows about this very Flutter counter app as the um, boilerplate. Yeah. So, and once you click on the boilerplate, the boilerplate add the counter add the this is the typical normal Flutter app. So the only thing is, if we look at the left hand side of our screen, we can see there is another text box around here that is having this value. Right? So now this is JavaScript. So the more you add one click here, the more JavaScript counter increases. So this means now JavaScript is fetching the data from the DOM of Flutter. And why Flutter doesn't have HTML? And JavaScript normally works typically with HTML and things like that. But using Flutter still, we can find a way to leverage JavaScript in that JavaScript can connect with the Flutter DOM and make it you know fully dynamically in response. So and, and you see, the more I add, the more, more press, the more the counter increases. And even around here, it's like vice versa. I can communicate to JavaScript direct, and JavaScript talk to my Flutter app. You see? You see? Like, either ways, I add, it is, it, is, it is like working. And there are so many things, for example, to try to do, apart from just being a counter. I am, if I want to have like a text box or something, then, um, for example, this is a text field, and in this text field, now, I can be able to write directly, you know, you see, I'm writing directly on on, on the Flutter web, and the text box is accepting the, the response without seeing how the things are, let's, let me say, a little bit done. You want to add more CSS, just click on the shadow. Have you seen the shadow effect on CSS, you see, a little bit... Have you seen like a little bit background shadow effect affected? So like everybody knows of CSS now. Flutter has for the web a little bit of something that replaces CSS and it works. So for example, if we are resizing this thing for like a window, a long small window, you see we can resize it. And um, if for example we are trying to have another device, you know, I can mirror it into the into, to look like on on mobile app working and even as it is here now the text box is still working and accepting responses that I'm that I'm passing through in. So and and if for example we don't want to mirror this thing into any device and uh, we just want to have like let me say mirror preview then you can see instead of having um let's have a spin. So you see like, like this thing will continue giving us if you see, this is the right side, if you turn around, it's giving us a mirror view, and it still is accepting responses whatsoever. This is cool, right? So, um, we can also, let me see, have a little bit visual about our custom app, if we are looking for having a custom app or something. So, this will like look, look automatically like a custom app, you know, with a text box, a text field, that you still can talk to it, and as you are talking, if you notice, it, the counter is incremented. As you're talking, if you notice, it, the counter is incremented. And the counter is incrementing vividly. This app is showing us two things, if you notice. It. It's showing us two things, not from the left hand of the screen, and not these two options. So it is counting the text, the, the strings we are sending. It is counting and incrementing. And this one too is incrementing. So that means this JavaScript now here, this Flutter web demo that I just shown you, is, is like an invention of Flutter and JavaScript. So this is a very big achievement. Comes 2023, and you know, because myself, I used to ask myself, how is Flutter going to work in the web? Like my fear, my fear, why? I, I have like two, three apps that I built with Flutter. I have, let's say, less than one year experience working with Flutter full time. But the fear I have is um, majorly the clients we are having the whole day in this web. So, and if I stick to Flutter, you know, I'm afraid whether the web will fail me at a point in time because JavaScript have to be there. It have to be there. So now comes 2023, we have this web um, uh, web embedded apps of Flutter that are connected to JavaScript and JavaScript can, um, you know, 
make, um, let me say, um, uh, JavaScript can now send messages, signals, and receive inputs from Flutter direct. So it's of utmost advantage. If you are asking which framework to take today, if you're asking which programming language to stick to, Flutter is, is a good place to be. The only thing is stick to it. What our boss says previously, stick to it. If you want to learn JavaScript today, don't expect you to be like making money in JavaScript in the next five, six months. No. Try to feel like two, three years, five years. Give yourself time. Allow yourself to relax. Learn, rely on learn. Because it's going to be super difficult. But so long as you have this great mindset, a mindset that is never great mindset is what? What is great? Okay. Um um um, it is supposed to be. It is supposed to be. This mindset is supposed to be like a mindset that doesn't have that doesn't have limits. You just don't have to have a limit as a developer. You have to believe learning is a recursive function. Like it's an on endless loop. You continue to learn every day, every day as a developer. You can ask my boss. He learns something today. New. You have to learn every day. You have to learn every day. I don't mean he learns something around here, but you have to learn something before he comes here today. Because no matter how you are working, if you are um, working with computer, you know after every one hour you have to learn something. If you are really, really doing what you are supposed to be doing, except if you are watching your time, maybe watching movies or something. And and at a point in time, at a point in time, you will have to have. Um, uh, let me see. You will have to have and inspiration, because a dev needs no motivation. What we need is inspiration. Because if you stick to motivation, motivation normally happens to um, get disappeared after, let's say, 24 hours to 48 hours to 125 hours. So before you know the motivation is never there. But if you have an inspiration, what it will do for you is it will keep you going. It will continue pushing you, it will continue pushing you. The inspiration, you know, your dreams, like somebody tell me that his dreams are what's stopping him from sleeping. Like, we used to see, we used to wake up, oh, how was your night, man? I dream about this and that. So, him, if you ask him how was his night, he would tell you, I didn't sleep. That's my dreams. My dreams don't allow me to sleep. So, every developer is supposed to have a great mindset that will make him like that. And believe you me, if you are so consistently watching, this six months, somebody just talked to you about, our boss talked to you about Decagon. They are giving this six months to make you, you know, fit in. So, um... I was speaking about sir. I've been doing architecture. I've been doing education. I've been working for basic education. I've been doing that. I'm asking guy who's some motor. Like you will almost die because you will dedicate two thousand one hundred hours of your life into this dev thing fully, and you have fewer people to talk to, and you know there are so many problems that you will want to solve, and there are a lot of things. The only way you leverage it, why I'm showing you this Flutter demo today, is for you to just. Feel like, yeah, I just want to start this thing and stick to it. And we are around, we will be around, and we will try to help each and every individual that wants to participate into this flutter. Maybe it will be another advantage for me to, to you know, be super friendly with flutter. Because I believe whatever problem a newbie can come across on flutter, I believe it will not pass me. And if it passed me, there is someone I want to introduce to you. Um, his name is Israel. And Israel is a flutter de developer for, I think, three years so he has this vast you know knowledge of how flutter works and how things are done so um please a round of applause for israel for you so, um, um, yeah. specifically i'll try to answer his questions or any other questions anyone may have regarding flutter and the first one he asked that um flutter for the web does it work like javascript well it doesn't work like javascript if you, if you use both JavaScript, the experience on JavaScript is quite different from that of Flutter. Like how Flutter works for the web is through rendering engine. It's something you can use. Like, okay, if, if, the, the main thing is understanding Flutter is it's not a native platform, it's a cross platform. It's a cross platform. Thereby, it works with different operating systems, but not exclude each of them. It serves it renders its engine using their own individual <coughs> OS. It doesn't work on each of the OS itself. Like right? when we are talking about Android, we say we use Java, we use Kotlin. Now those are built, utilized. Those are built specifically for Android. Now um, iOS, we say that is for iPhone. We say Swift, we use Objective C. But then um, platforms like Flossa, React Native, Xamarin, and the rest. They are 
they are cross platforms. They work on multiple platforms. So the thing is, they don't actually, um, they are not specific on the operating system, but they work on multiple systems. So they use Brendan engines to work. So in similar, answering your first question, Flutter works really well using its rendering engine. Like you, if you are to go, if you are to work on it, the installing Flutter, you have everything in built. Like one of the main things that in that drew, drew me to Flutter was the fact that Flutter is actually the highest platform currently in the world that supports most platforms. Flutter supports up to about eight different platforms ranging from Android, iOS, macOS, Windows. You can build apps for Windows. Yes, I'm done that. I, I use <coughs> Windows, I use Linux. I've built apps for my Linux using Flutter. You can build apps for wristwatches, his smartwatch. You can build apps for that using Flutter. And the, you know, the sweetest part is there's a new operating system Google is building. It's called Fuchsia Voice. And the entire operating system is built with Flutter. Flutter is built for um okay. Like a lot of people for Flutter. Like in advanced states like China, they have this they, they have something like a mirror whereby you step in, you want to purchase something, you want to like um rather than testing the clothes on yourself, you can look at the mirror and you can see the clothes on yourself or the makeup for the ladies. You can see the makeup reflecting on yourself. Those are all built with Flutter. Flutter is the number one framework that supports multiple platforms. And your third question on if um, you have to go with Flutter or Kotlin. Now the thing is, they are different, they are built for different things. Now Kotlin, the initial reason Kotlin was built Kotlin was built um, by JetBrains, although they work with Google as well. Kotlin was built by JetBrains for um, rendering, rendering, um, I can't really remember, but they were, it was built by JetBrains for if, um, Java. Some, 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 they, they had something to do with Java. That's why they built Kotlin in the first place. Then later they realized that they could also utilize it for um, mobile development. The reason they used it was Kotlin was cleaner, it was easier to read than Java. It was it's compiled well, although there's a slight disadvantage of Kotlin. Kotlin is not quite as fast as Java. So but it is cleaner. So um now, Flutter, on the other hand, it's not specific to a single platform. As I said, you can build multiple platforms. Now, another thing about Flutter is, well, Flutter is fast, as I said, but not just fast, it is stupidly fast. Swift is the um, language built, is the framework built for iOS, for, for Apple devices. To run that's, that's their, native. Yes, the applications. Now, in scenarios, Flutter was faster than Swift. Imagine a cross platform. Faster than faster than what was built for the platform. That's how like um most phones run on 60 frames per second. Flutter can run 120 frames per second. Um irrespective of how fast you want it to go, Flutter can run it. And the the, the the sweetest the sweetest future of Flutter, as I said, pot we know, pot we start. Now you won't really know the benefit of pot we know, pot we start if you are coming from other platforms like React Native or like um, Native Android. Other platforms, let's say, you made a change to an app or anything we are working on. Before you see the difference. Sometimes you have to restart it. Sometimes they have something like hot reload, but not exactly. Maybe it takes about 30 seconds or something like that. But Flutter, hot reloads in about 3 seconds. You have seen the change you made instantly. You work instantly and you can restart the entire cache if you, have, if you want to work with hot restart. Then, um, 
Which we, I think you asked the question about which other question did you ask? I, I remember asking if you wanted to start your journey. Yes. You should just do pedophilia. Like which one solves more problems? <laughs> Answering the question of which one solves more problems, it's definitely floater because you solve problems across multiple platforms. Not Kotlin solves problems just for Android. Flutter solves for Windows, for macOS, for um, iOS, for watchOS. Why did Google build Kotlin <laughs> if they are going to receive no, no. uh, app, mobile app? Yes. And for me to connect it, but this one is a very good idea because I have to check it as well. Uh, apart, apart from Flutter, we got just all of us might not be that used to program yet. There are no good platforms that can be used. Yes, but that the, Flutter Flow. That's, 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 that's Flutter Flow, but yes, my question here is, uh, yeah, but this one I think will solve a lot of problems for me and a lot of work because I've used a mobile district uh, um, grocery app. I built one and the customer, I asked again, I want it for the web. I have to go back and use that level. Okay, take the APIs. I'm going to use the APIs here. I have to connect my this to my app through my APIs so that every time because there's a little bit latency there because uh, my uh, my this to my my bank and all my storage system is on the Laravel and I save it on the this so if I change something it will not reflect the time on the app. So I think this one is very good. This if it can do that, I don't know if it can do that because with this one if I can build on this one. Built on Flutter and it goes on the way like this and just refresh all other data. If I add something like, let's say, something, uh, prices change and all that things, it will not like reflect in time. I think the latency of. <laughs> I cannot calculate the latency, but if this one can do that, that's a very good idea. But the APIs and all that things, because they take a little bit of time, you have to build this one to on with first, go and build for the web again. Anything that you want to have, and you have to take the address and other APIs from your categories and other things and just embed it in the mobile app back in so you start running the app. But with Flutter, I realize Flutter is you can use one code for anything. Especially if I think code JS model, they don't have GUI. Yes. You don't have GUI. If you do something, you have to, that's why the issue of what will not come comes in. If you don't write something, you know it. You see, you see the it's a very fast but for this one, if they can, if it can do that, it will be a very big help for, for your yeah. question. Yeah. 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 I, I'm not sure if most of them understand. So this one, is <laughs> yes. most of them, I might not be able to carry them on. But the thing about it, Flossa is, is is a front, is a front of the framework. Now, yes, there's a question you asked. The second question you asked it was is that. Programming language Dart. Is it the backend? No, no. Dart is not the backend. That that is the first misconception to work with. Dart is not the backend. Dart is the programming language. To so Dart, Dart to Flutter is like a toothbrush to a toothpaste. Or if you, I mean, like you should have some, you may have some experience with web. Everything is HTML, CSS. Now, just like how. Um, yes, 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 yes. JavaScript, just a JavaScript, HTML, CSS, the programming language, just an IT Similarly, just as how Flutter is, it's on the back end. The back end, you can use platforms like, as you said, Laravel, you can use platforms like Firebase, Node.js, Yes, you can use that. Laravel is PHP. Before, I mean, Android, not web. I think um now that you now that you spoke, it's when I understood um what we've been doing here for a while, right? I've been hearing Flutter Wave and I've been hearing Flutter. Um pardon my ignorance. I've been thinking here that it was a mistake you think we are talking about Flutter Wave because for me when we said Flutter Wave, I just thought it was Flutter wave company. Oh. No, yeah, there's a company. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so flutter wave is like it, this this is flutter wave. Because when it was there, yeah, it's yeah. just like flutter flow. So do you build the app here? 
No, or is no, this, this just a demo? This app is generally built as a demo by Flutter core developers to showcase how JavaScript fits into Flutter. Mm -hmm. What we are asking, sorry, the question is, do you build the app on Flutter? Yes, this is yes. built okay. on Flutter. So oh. you have an ID that you that yes. Yes. have to do this. Yes, address to do yes. Address yes. to do yes. like yeah. 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 this. Also. This is just a demo. When, when, you, when you install Flutter on your system, it comes with the SDK. They show you a lot of demos you can see. This is not this is just a demo. It's not the actual. When you are to work on it, it's already integrated. Everything works together. So that means you can build an app on Flutter on its own. Yes, of course. So what's and that's another Flutter wave. Is the integration of JavaScript into Flutter, just as Flutter Flow is the integration of no code platform with Flutter. Now, the, that's another advantage of Flutter. Flutter also has one of the highest integration with multiple platforms. With, Fl with Flutter, you can utilize JavaScript. With Flutter, you can use Python. With Flutter, the different different platforms with the same front end. Flutter is just the front end. So depending on how you want to deploy your server side clients, that's what okay. you can so do. So my, my last question. Um, the communication between the JavaScript, yes. because um, when Maya was talking, he was talking about using the JavaScript to communicate with the DOM or Flutter and so on. Like, how do JavaScript come into play here? Is it that like we use JavaScript to build the app on it's it's the Flutter? Or how do JavaScript come into play in the Flutter web design? Like, what will you use JavaScript for in this case? Is it for the web? Or, I don't know if you get my question. I, I get your question. Yeah. Now, the thing is, Flutter on its own part, it already has its own integration for the web. Now, on how, how it works, it uses JavaScript actually, but we, most users don't know. It does it automatically on its own without we being aware. It uses JavaScript actually. Mm -hmm. So now, Flut, um, using Flutter Web is now your way you as an experienced JavaScript developer to integrate JavaScript on your own rather than allowing it to do it. Yes. So you can have more control over the functions you want rather than just okay. doing it automatically. So that's more like sorry. So that's more like just like um I know that uh, uh when you were talking about when we we're talking about Kotlin and Java so um, uh, Kotlin is also uh, uh, compiled by the JPM engine, right? Just like how Java is, which is the main reason why it's quite slower. No, the, the right? thing is Kotlin and Java. They are, it's Kotlin and Java is hundred percent integrated. You can switch Kotlin to Java, Java to yeah. Kotlin. Yes, but it, it's not quite like that. It's <laughs> it's not like that with Java. It's, they are just elements of some things you can add. Okay. It's still majorly flutter okay. because the language is that and the, the, the integration is not that, but you can still integrate some things. Excuse me, sorry, please. No, this means that you still need. To learn some certain programming language, yes or no languages, yes or no. No, we don't need to. Yes, uh, yes, that's the disadvantage of of Flutter. Mm -hmm. Now, the primary disadvantage of Flutter is the programming language. That now, for most people, they don't have any other thing to do with that apart from Flutter. Mm -hmm. Most people go to platforms like React Native because they already know JavaScript. Okay. Now, the thing is that. Is a is a whole new language, but it's, it is the best language for cross platform because it was intentionally designed for that for, for, for that purpose. So I'm uh, sorry. If you learn that, yes, and you make an app yes. using that, that's that that's just the language. The framework is closer. Okay, like using the programming language, you communicate that to Flutter. Yes. To make an app, yes. and you made the app. Yes. You can now, like, using Flutter itself now yes. as the, uh, what's called the platform, cross, uh, what do you call it? Framework. Framework platform. To make it into uh, an operating system, um, maybe for Windows, Linux, or anything, and any other thing. The app you made is 
basically from Google. Uh, the, the, the app you made is just one. Then depending on how you want, want to deploy to it, it. And like you can deploy it on an APK. You can deploy it for and depending yes, depending on the operating system you want. So in short, if you go with Flutter, yes. the only programming language you need to learn is that. Yes. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> 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 I did it. If you are, if you are, a beginner, you don't have to need to learn that. If you want to do some more advanced uh, functions, you can use that. But for introduction, it's straightforward. For for someone who doesn't have experience with other platform, that and Flutter is very easy because they 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 are synchronized. For as if you uh, for an entry, you wouldn't even know. That there's a difference, flutter and that. That's why most people think it's one or they are different. They actually they are very, very well, very well integrated that they sound as one. You don't know that they are different. Okay. So you only need to learn that if you want to do more advanced, but for introduction, just learn flutter concept and yes, you are good to go. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. So does flutter support you why you need? Mobile, yeah. Well, Flutter ah. is, as I said, it's a front end framework. It's, it can, but it's more, the, the purpose why it is built is to um, serve the most beautiful, the most beautiful um, mobile UIs you can have. The function is front end, user interface. That's the reason why it's built. Yes. Now that you can use that for that is you can use that with server side. But then the, the specific function it was used, it was built for was for you to sell multiple platforms. Now the thing about programming is now using a specific um, language or a framework, it depends on the problem you are trying to solve. Now the re the, the best way you can utilize Flutter, it is is what it is built for. Cross platform. That's the best way you can utilize it. And if you want anything cross platform, the best platform you can use in the world so far is Flutter. Number one. Yes. Yes. Ah, I have a question. I have a question. So this will be the last question. We'll be taking this. Did you? I'll be ready to my hand. Second to last question. Okay. If I want to use and have Flutter now. I have a last so one of my question. Do I use VS Code? Or is there something? You can use VS Code. VS Code is. Yes. Okay. Then all you need to do is. Like Visual Studio Code. Code. Yes. All you need to do is. All you need to do is. All you need to do is. Go to Flutter.dev and download Flutter. So let's dig you. So the request now is. I want my laptop now. I don't have anything related to Flutter in my laptop. I have VS Code. So okay. what do I need in my laptop now? The plugins and is there a way to get it? You download it from Flutter or Dev. From those links that I shared to you. Okay. Yeah. 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 You can download Flutter. If somebody has it, can you copy from the list? No, no, not copy. Download direct. You just connect to data, download from the okay. direct. The reason why you are downloading direct is if I have downloaded the Flutter three weeks ago, today maybe there is a new mirror, like new update of Flutter that my own Flutter doesn't have. So if you have downloaded direct, you know, you are going to have that update, which I will have to update later to get it. You got So it's for the advantage not to be collecting images, packages, mirrors from, from a friend. Rather, you just download direct from someone. If I've done it three weeks ago, yes. I just need to update. Yes. Let, let me just give you a simple example. For example, I have a, maybe an app on my phone. And if you word. can send, if there's no problem. But the problem is... Objects. Like, How easy is it? And what uh, is, is it? Well, um... It's, I don't think it's, you can zip it if it's about the size. But it's sweeter if you just download it. Yes, yes. That, 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 that's what it's supposed to be. Oh, and uh, I think if anybody has here already... Although, although I... I this is it's my plan. I use Linux, so there's no way I can. So, but the, the, the best, the best way is to just download. And the thing about Flutter is, if you stop Flutter one month and come back the next month, <laughs> your code will not work again. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> that, that, uh, the, uh, the, whole, the whole mobile community. I don't know of iOS, but uh, even Android. That's how Android is crazy. 
Uh, Updates can come like two times ago. Yeah. Say. And when I check, when I check GitHub, according to GitHub, you know, statistics, Flutter is number third open source. Open source, uh, you know, a project that has many contributors, contributors in the whole Dependent world. Dependent is not open source project that has vast contributors worldwide. Flutter. So it is um, possible for you guys yeah. to also drop like a, because most people learn from documents. Some other people prefer to learn from watching videos. Yeah. If it's possible to drop like a link. Okay. That could give like the yeah. introductory parts for these people that want to start. I, 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 I learned oh. <laughs> no, 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 like no, some YouTube. I'm just talking about the new yeah. Yeah. YouTube for, for, for just like for a yeah. YouTube yeah. introduction yeah. Yeah. that would direct them yeah. to install. I'll, I'll try to paste the links later. Yeah. 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 I'll also paste um link for our other. Community can be taken by in the group. So if you are not in the group, maybe we can know because we are supposed to test that in the group rather than collecting. Okay, you're not in the group. Take okay. five. Group. GDG or oh, take five. Yeah. GDG. GDG group we are speaking of. GDG. If you are not in GDG. GDG specifically. Nah, no. Yeah, people that are here, but they are not in the GDG community. Boss, not. I'm not in GDG. Yeah, yeah. 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 GDG. So yeah, so I think. Oh. Um, starting from you, you just um yeah. Oh, oh. So now we, we can yeah.